A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So something really terrifying happened in game just now. I'll explain it now. Basically, we're going to be doing Warrior Difficulty, 15 Minute Horde. It's going to be 96 instead of 64. This modlet that increases the maximum amount of Blood Moon count is interfering with the Blood Moon warning. Because it is definitely day 42. Uh, 31 days of January plus 11 of February, that's 42, so that is a Horde day. Nightmare Speed, um, since we're going for 96 enemies, I'm going to go for 100 enemies over here max instead of 80. That just allows all 96 to spawn and our explosives can do damage. So basically, I was in my base doing repairs and stuff and I heard a block break. And all of a sudden, a zombie smacked me from behind. Now, can you guys remember in the previous ward night, I turned around and one of the towers behind me was on fire? Well, it seems the zombies figured out how to get to me without using the walkway. I'll show you guys this now. That was actually super clever of them, but they did so much damage on the inside, I was able to remove the stairs. But if it wasn't for this uh, freak wandering ward coming out of nowhere, I would have been so screwed for ward night. Come on, get inside. I want to show you guys. I think it's like four or five in-game minutes left until Horde Night, so I need to go show you this quickly. Also, I put a little bit more of a roof in over here. It's slowly but tur surely turning into a proper base. Look at this over here. They, uh, the Wandering Horde went all the way around over there, all the way through over here, broke in over here, climbed up, and then just broke through over here. So the Wandering Zombie was hitting me from behind, and then I realized, oh crap. So the reason that was on fire last time was because the zombies were breaking through without us even realizing it. I'm just hoping they're going to pass properly now. Okay, I, th I think destroying those one or two blocks over there helped. But yeah, I can't believe they were clever enough to do that. Uh, I just... When, I, when the zombies smacked me and I ran away, I was up here and I saw another zombie or two running over there. So they were definitely, for some reason, not taking this path and either uh, rather deciding to go over there. The fact that they had to break through concrete, that was, that was actually damaged over there. But the weird thing is I, I heard, like, blocks breaking and then bre uh, hitting on blocks and stuff. But I was like, eh, I'm busy. That's it's fine. Because basically over here, as you guys can see, we actually upgraded a lot of the wall and stuff. The nice thing is a lot of the original wall... Just quickly kill this cop. A lot of the original wall over here could just be immediately upgraded to concrete, so I did that. But yeah, basically I was busy with all of this, and I didn't pay attention to the noise, and they actually broke through over here. So that could have been horrendous for Horde Knight. Also, uh, we have to get our compound kill quest up, so let's just do this. I'm gonna do that, keep this in the hand. So basically now as the zombies die, this kill quest over here is gonna go up. Uh, no, not additional food, archery training. We have to kill 200 zombies doing this method. You can burn them with fire or bleed them and then just swap to this. But this does not, just don't make this mistake, it does not up this over here, the bows. Your bows will stand still. Although I've heard if you do this, you just fire into the ground over here. Uh, it's actually easier with a bow because it's faster. You can actually get your skill up that way. You just have to fire. You don't have to fire at anything. It just has to fire. Probably throw a few grenades down there as well. I want to actually put a wall or a ladder or something over here so it's easier for me to stand on top and throw stuff at them. From this angle, it's so easy to fall down. But I have to make sure that the ladder over here... Just do this, do this. They're dying now without me having this on. I need to make sure that this weapon is equipped at the moment I do this. But yeah, we can stand up stop over here now and just make sure we do this. Oops, be careful of the vultures, especially if it's a radiated vulture. When they can vomit at us. Also, for some reason, there is a faucet up there. But guys, imagine this horde. Look how big this horde is. Imagine this broke through during horde night. Okay. I don't think it was a full-fledged Wandering Horde, because during the Tier 4 we had a Wandering Horde. But either way, I'm not complaining. The fact that the zombie smacked me from behind, it could have easily destroyed all of our workstations over here. Also, as you can see, I make the, made the Oak Raven station now as well, so we can make some bread. And then I made a lot of Molotovs for this Horde Knight. It's a shame we don't have an XP Alexa. That would have been awesome. Okay, I want to do this. I want to do this. Nice. We're definitely going to be able to get those 200 kills during Horde Night, I think. Let's just actually go and do this and track it. See, as they die, it's going to go up, up, up. We already had almost 100 zombies. Damn. 
This shows this Horde Knight's going to be insane. But yeah, basically, I was able to upgrade the ladder mostly to concrete and behind the ladder also somewhat. Because as you guys know, those blocks over there can immediately be upgraded to concrete. But those over there are my blocks, so they first have to go to brick, that brown thing, then concrete. Hello. I'm to make sure that I'm not wasting any ammo right now. Also, I have to be careful of radiated vultures. Come on. The radiated vultures can really mess us up with the vomit. Do that. Do that for a little bit of help. It's a shame we can't actually make like a foothold over there for some grenades. Just throw the grenades over there and that's going to help us out a lot. Yeah, I can't afford to grab another grenade while I wait for that fire to stop. Because uh, when I swap away to grab a grenade, the zombies might uh, die and then I lose out on some kills over here. It's just unfortunate. I'm going to have to do way more kills with the bow itself to make sure that we actually get this done. Because now, after this 200, it's going to say kill 200 or 300 whatever zombies with a compound bow. That's the next thing. And unfortunately, to get the compound bow, we have to have 100 over here. It says... Boom. Compound bow. Unlocks crossbow repeats and tungsten arrows. Unlocks mag bow. So I wonder if this is the last... Wait, I'm so confused. But yeah, basically, we still have to get this to 100 anyways to be able to unlock those, unfortunately. No, 90. So this is 90 and this one's 100. Okay, so yeah, I think this is a loss for the class quest. Do that. Do this. Booyah! That was a nice explosion. I just need to keep moving around just in case there's a cop inside over there. Ooh, hello, hello, you clever thing. I have to be careful. Dogs and spiders and crawlers and stuff, they're short enough to actually go underneath. And that's a lot of zombies. The only reason they're still pawing at me right now, for those of you who don't know, uh, don't know, is the fact that I have a ladder touching the floor. Oh, damn it. This ladder over here is touching the floor. If I were to pick that up and then climb on the roof, they go for the pillars and stuff. I need to be careful of demos, especially when I throw my explosives. The cop's still alive. Now he's dead. We're getting so many zombies, some of them are just standing still over here. That's insane. Also save some explosives. Nice, nice, nice. It's not even... Oh, now it's midnight. Ooh, now the zombies are going to start picking up. I wonder when we're going to start getting bosses and stuff. At least now we do have the pistol with the anti-rad mod on. So if I really need to kill a boss, we can easily stop its regen and we can just kill it. We've only had wandering hordes in um, the... Well, I mean, we've only had bosses at night, though. Not in Wandering Hordes or Horde Knights or anything. They're already breaking something over there. Yeah, for some reason, they stand on the stairs and just smack the stairs. I don't know why. They're supposed to path up cleaner than that. There you go. Nice amount of zombies. See, technically, we should be safe over here. But sometimes, Cop Vomit can make it through these bars. So just interrupt them when they want to vomit and then just keep going. Nice. See, now kill any uh, zombie with the 200... Okay, let's just see what that says. Using crossbow repeater. Okay, so I just have to keep... I wonder if I shouldn't during nighttime use this crossbow. Although I think for now, let's just put the crossbow away. Because you have to have the repeater, but we still have to unlock that. That is also five bow points. Yes! So we're actually like four points away. Yeah, oh, I could actually use the bow during nighttime, but I don't think it's going to work that well. Be careful. Take down the things that can actually do a lot of block damage. Also, I have to be careful of the cops and the demos. What's making that noise? Oh, there's a cop. Dead. I don't want to break my gun, but at the same time, I need to make sure I kill the cops before they explode. Oh, wow. No, I was about to say that's an insta-kill. Only problem with the bars is the fact that you can't see through the bars. If this was like scaffolding ladder, at least you could see. Oh, how did you make it through? That was a clever zombie. He's one of the few that can actually make it over. Oh, no. Did I just hit the demo in the chest? I hope not. 
Dude, just take the cop to vomit at him right now. Hopefully that cop stayed from the fire. But the demo can at least burn to death, so that's a good thing. But if I can see him, I can just snipe his head, that will help us a lot. The nice thing is we can actually shoot them in the back. Oh, hello. He just shot through the bars. I need to make sure there's no fires starting inside my base. That yeah, cop is going to be a problem. The problem is I can't kill the demo right now. How much HP does he have left? I don't know where he is. Demo? He's in there somewhere. And the, uh, the moment I just throw an explosive or something, I'll hit him. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's almost half HP, so that's good. I should be able to actually kill him with an explosive. All we have to do is do this. Do that. Do that, although I think he's already climbing a ladder, so it shouldn't hit him. Oh yeah, we killed the demo, nice. Before he could go off, that's awesome. But yeah, now we just need the crossbow repeater. Basically what that is, it's, uh, it's a crossbow that fires multiple shots. I can't wait to, t uh, to attempt that. That's going to be awesome. I'm just really glad I made this many Molotovs. <laughs> we don't really have the ammo to fight them. Oh, there's another demo at the back of here. Burn over there, dude. If I can make him explode over there, why not? Although his HP is going down so slowly from the Molotov. The nice thing is now that his HP is so low, we can just throw another Molotov here and it's going to burn all of them together. It's just easier to view them from here and not get knocked down right now. Nice, that burned him from the back. The problem is any mutated zombie, when it does that squirty thing with a pus, and any cop zombie when it vomits can hit the demo and set it off. Even just a normal friend zombie smacking at it will send it off. It has happened in the past before. See, once again, they broke through the wall over there. I have no idea why. Am I going to have to put some ladders on the other side, perhaps? I think that's the only way to fix that. Oh, thank goodness that cop didn't take the two down. How many demos are there? The nice thing is the fire exploding doesn't set off there switches. So that's a major, major, major help for us right now. Whoop. A little bit of stutter just now caused me to not know where I am. As long as there's no vultures showing up, we can easily kill the rest of here. And the nice thing is we have so little ammo left, but it doesn't seem like we're really going to need much. Oh wow, the f a fire actually reaches far. Imagine we run out of horde for horde knife, but I doubt that's possible. I'm just hoping the bags that drop actually drop the gas mask. At the moment, that's the only thing we need. We literally have this, 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 and this. We just need the mask. As soon as we have that, we'll be able to go to tier 5s and finally get the socket over there. Hello. Oh, imagine if that was a radiated one. That would not have been fun. Oh, there's a whisper in between over there somewhere. Something just broke, but I heard metal. Oh yeah, I actually hope they break the rest of the fence down. The fence is getting in the way. But yeah, they're eating through the wall over here like it's nothing. As long as we can keep mining for uh, oil and we keep making our own gas cans, I think you can actually make your own. Yeah, you can make your own as well. So as long as we keep making our own and that, we'll, we, and we can also even go to gas stations and repair the pumps and then get some fuel back that way. If we can do that, we don't have to worry at all about fuel. We can make a ton of Molotovs and each Horde Knight just burn the hell out of them. I think at this point, it's going to be our only way to really survive. Some things on this side. Hello, hello, hello. See, it's a radiated vulture starting fires over here. And if it sets a fire over there, it can easily set a fire on the inside as well. Unfortunately, I'm out of explosives. Although with the demos over there, you really don't want to use explosives. Almost dead. 
Only nine explosives left. I need to make sure it say, uh, stays until... Oh! He actually had his button towards me. I need to make sure that the um, Molotovs last until morning so we can clear up all the zombies that, that, that stay over. As long as they're not radiated, the fire should be able to kill them all. Although, all I need to do right now is shoot the radiated and the fire will do damage to them. There's an anti-rad mod on this, so the fire will then start to do damage. Now, if I do this, they'll definitely burn. Although, obviously, they don't burn too much, so we have to constantly hit them with this. Make sure they don't heal at all. Oh, crap. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. What did you vomit just now? The moment I saw it was like tint green, I knew, I knew oh crap, that's going to start a fire. Why are you going? Okay, you're going over there. As long as there's no cops right now, that's okay. Okay, this dude is actually making over right now. Some of them are clever enough to just hop right over. I don't know where that demo is. Hopefully the demo is dead by now. I have to make sure when I start shooting one of them, I actually kill them. These radiators are going to be a problem in the morning. But as, like I said, as long as we can hit them with anti-rad. And then with fire, we can burn them all together. But you have to constantly hit them. That's a problem. If you if you miss them, they start healing like crazy. The nice thing is in the morning we'll be able to go and use this over here. I wanted to break, but I want to get the shotgun up so we can make a pump shotgun. Let's see. Shotguns. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to be 40 for the next one. I want to make myself a pump shotgun so doing that during night uh, time or after horde nights, not going to be too bad. At the moment, it's slightly dangerous doing it. Yeah, this gun's gonna break. Oh, I just saw it in time. If we lose that uh, mod now, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Modify, do this. Modify, do this. Oh, I almost lost my pistol with another rad mod on. That's how I lost the first one as well. It's a big ass vulture. Damn. See, that can easily hit my boxes and stuff. The, the, the sooner I can actually put a roof on over here, the better. All of these are just radiator right now. That's insane. That is insane. At least I'll be able to kill them easily. It's a shame I don't have another one on this and this gun's better perhaps. And I can shoot them in the face and uh, they'll stop healing as well. But basically what I need to do now in the morning is go stand over there. Throw a Molotov to burn them and just uh, keep taking the healing away with like the gun. If I had one more explosive we could use it right now just before uh, Horde Night ends. Okay, I just have to make sure that I pay attention to this gun so it does, uh, this doesn't break. I'm going to be so mad at myself if I lose this gun. Also, we have to be careful because the spiders will and can jump us off. So do that. Out of ammo, damn it. That's no good. We have some nine more. Yeah, we have some nine more ammo left. I have to get closer now. I thought there's a cop below me just now. At least the Volotov stops them from healing fully. So at least they don't heal, but they also don't die. Might get a screamer right now. Be careful. This gun's gonna break in my hand, but that's fine.
So most of these ferals are radio. That's the only problem right now. That broke. Nice. Okay, so what I should probably do... I could stand with my bow over there. Oh, you stuck back there. Let's see what other weapons we have right now that can actually help us out. Because these radiators are going to heal all the way fully. Uh, we do have some AKs over here. No, but we're out of ammo. That's not the problem. Modify. We do this. Modify. I want to see what kind of spear I can make at the moment. I need a better weapon that's a higher quality. No, I can certainly make two or ones. I'm not using the spear enough. Yeah, I need to put this on a melee weapon as well. I could put it on a knife, but it's not going to work as well. So modify, we just quickly do this. It's not going to kill them as much, but with the headshot damage in our level right now, we should be able to get quite a bit of damage done. We don't have any rifles, right? If we had a sniper rifle, we have this. This uses 5.56 ammo, so we could technically use that. I wonder if I shouldn't just drive away and have them follow me. I think that's going to be the easiest way to get rid of this massive crowd over here. All of these are just radiated. It's insane. To kill them should be easy enough if I just keep doing power attacks and stuff, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Let me just try and get my bow skill up. Yep. This is going to be very slow, but if I can actually do this... It'll up our skill and help us kill them, but that's going to take forever doing this. I should probably just drive away. That's going to be the best call right now. You know what? I should actually use my spear. It should be able to penetrate through zombies. You see the healing at the moment as well. I was able to kill her from a headshot, but these guys are healing again. At least they don't seem to be healing super, super fast. But if I'm not killing them from a distance, oh yeah, that might be a thing I could do. Look at the amount of zombies around us already. That's insane. Yeah, I think at the moment what's going to be best for us is just to run away. As long as we get headshots and we can definitely kill them, we have to kill one at a time as they jump over. That's the only problem. Damn it. See, this is a very slow process, but if I do this, we can also get some crossbow kills. I need to kill that um, spider, though. It's going to knock me down at the worst time. See, we can even do some sneak damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that lag just now? Something else just spawned in. That was a nasty amount of lag just now. I swear, if it's a Wandering Horde, at least we have one more Molotov left. But if it's a Wandering Horde, we're so screwed. It does seem like there's a lot of zombies in the vicinity, though, so we have to be careful. Nice. Now the threat, the biggest threat to us is actually gone. Damn it. I'm wasting all my ammo right now, so I should probably wait for them to jump over. See, running away right now should probably be the best call. Because if I run away, I'll be able to uh, drag one or two with me and then just kill them like that. And some of them might even despawn. Do I have the anti-rad mod on this? I do, right? So even though this is a slow process, this is killing them. Damn it, he's dead moved. I need to focus on one at a time so it's easier to kill them. Oh wow, they destroyed the ladder over there again. I'm guessing that's the cops exploding. If there's enough cops exploding, they can do some serious damage. Okay, you're next. Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Yeah, they're not healing at the moment, but I'm having trouble hitting them in the head because they keep moving. Dead. Nope, not yet. 
Okay, now we're three points away from being able to make the repeater. Nice. It's nice that it actually helps you out with some books as well. It doesn't have to, but it does. One more headshot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All I technically have to do is throw a Molotov over here and hit them all once with the AK. Well, yeah, if I put the uh, mod on this. I'm just so afraid that the, uh, the AK gets destroyed or something. And then we lose that mod. It's trauma, man, from the previous time. He dead. No, he's alive. Stand up. That was a bad shot, John. See, they're not healing at the moment, but because I'm aiming really badly, I'm missing everything. Yeah, I need to fix that ladder over there. I'm hoping I can get most of my arrows back, but I doubt it. Why am I missing all these easy shots? There's literally like right on their head right there. Probably use this last Molotov as well. Just burn them all. This will help them from or stop them from healing. It should give me a little bit of more of a chance to kill them quickly. Crap. See, if I'm not zoomed in all the way, it doesn't do the damage that I wanted to do. I'm gonna be careful because I'm using up all my stamina doing this right now. Also, I don't want to lose these red bags. I need to hurry. We're almost done. If we had the crossbow repeater, I wouldn't have to reload this often. That's uh, one thing I can't wait for. Damn, how do I keep missing? See, I think this thing over here is a little bit too close to them. And you hit them once to make sure they're not heal, and then just do that. Come on, just like three zombies left. At least I'm getting my bow up by spamming it like this, but this is also a massive, massive waste of time. I just wish one of them could actually finally start jumping over again. For some reason, all of them have forgotten how. Ah, these bags are gonna despawn, man. Okay, one shot left. Nice. I wonder how many arrows I can actually get back from all of this. I'm guessing very, very few, so I'm going to have to make myself some more bolts. See, the reload is so slow with this. I, I prefer the bow. The crossbow is too slow with the reload, so it makes it a little bit harder hitting them properly. Actually, I want to see after this exactly how high my skill is. Okay, so now we do this. We finally killed all the zombies. I have to be careful. There's some zombies outside as well. I wonder if there's a way to loot these bags faster as well. Come on, give me the hazmat mask, please. Pellet of iron. Scrap wolframite. Scrap chromium. Damn! The fact that we can get those, I hope, also means we can actually get lucky with the tool. I know uh, it's said to be only in the final stashes of the... It's loot only, but this also counts as loot. You loot the bag, so loot only. If we are super, super, super lucky, we'll get that tool. Wonder how many arrows are sticking out of this over here now. Look at that. Arrow, arrow, arrow. <laughs> nice way to get some arrows back, at least. Come on, red bags. Please, I need tools right now. I wonder how fast I die if I run into a radiated zone right now. With only like four pieces. If I can kill some more of the zombies in the side of tier 5, that's also going to drop some red bags, I think. Shock a messiah. It's a shame that's not the hunting volume 2. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We got a ton of 7.62 ammo from the water, from the bags just now. That's awesome. We were getting very, very little of that. So the fact that we got so much ammo is awesome. So if I repair this right now, it's definitely going to go under... It's going it's to become an orange gun, unfortunately. Yep. So we can't even mod that one anymore. Now, I'm, I'm, I need to do more tier 4s and get those final stashes and stuff. And I need to wear this uh, goggles to make sure that I'm getting the best loot. 
So now we don't even have the pistol on us anymore. We don't have a shotgun. We don't have the pistol. Nothing. All we have right now is the spear and this one. At least as long as we can stop the region of a radiated zombie, we can smack it with this. But not having a damage per second weapon on us is really going to be bad. I wonder if I shouldn't keep like a crappy AK. Although we really don't want to waste the 762. But I, I wonder if I shouldn't keep this crappy AK on me. If it breaks, it breaks. That's fine. I can't even get modded anyways. But if it breaks, at least that's going to get our automatic skill up. And then this, I just want to do that. And ammo. How much coin do we have? Only 101. Damn. Yeah, we need to do way more questing. Although, as long as I can just keep selling this stuff, because these are just used for what? The quality of the battery doesn't matter inside the vehicle itself. And then, yeah, basically to make powered stuff and solar cells and all that and battery banks. Other than that, the quality doesn't matter. So we can technically go sell this to the traders, get some more cash. I'm going to sell that as well. Golf carts, I'm not going to make the golf carts. I'm going to sell that too. Okay, let's see what you have for us. Show me your inventory. We can buy more gas. No, thank you. We'll sell this. 5,000 coin just like that. Awesome. Vehicle adventures. These don't matter at all because we don't have the tool to make vehicles anyways. What if I shouldn't buy the forged iron? Switchboard 3. Cobble, definitely. The more cobble we have, the more blocks we'll be able to make. I need to make sure our base is actually done. At the moment, we're so exposed with those vultures being able to get through. And also, I shouldn't make the whole base uh, with bars. Because otherwise, the vultures will be able to see through and vomit at everything. Because their vomit actually goes through the bars as well. I have to go to Jen to see if she has something for us, unfortunately. Gas. I could make gas. It's going to be a waste buying it. Just don't. Don't, don't, don't. Gunpowder, definitely, and nitrate. So Anything that can actually make more explosives for us, because those explosives really help just thin the horde a bit. Okay, so there are some zombies over here that we need to take care of first. Come on. I hate the way they move sometimes. Just a little bit of a wobble and you miss. Okay, I also want to see if I can't put a point into the... Oh, why are you dead? Into living off the land. Got the best prices in the wasteland. I just see over here, living off the land. Where is that? See, there's also all these skills over here. I keep forgetting there's these skills. Better bot is definitely going to help. Hidden strike, definitely. But that needs level 7, so that's a lot of levels to get uh, level up. Living off the land. What is this? Double the harvest of wild uh, crops. That's like um, corn and stuff as well. Farm plot costs less to make. Craft grass collector mod for lawn tractor. Uh, craft collector unlock the beehive, but we already had the beehive. Oh, did I pick up the bee? I can't remember. I wonder if it's this one over here for the coop. Let me just see. Still locked. Let's put another point in there. I wanted to save the points, but I mean, we're going to level up anyways. Do that. Coop. Okay, it's the last one. Yeah, but the sooner we can make ourselves the chicken coop, the better. Did I kill him? Sounds like it. Okay, so we need to level up and the next point's gonna go into the crossbow repeater. And then we have to just kill some more. Uh, nails, I technically do need nails. See if we can sell these to her because she already bought some last time. And then gunpowder, yes. Nitrate, yes. Let's go under resources. We are there. Coal, lead, uh, I mean concrete. The concrete I'm gonna make immediately into blocks themselves to use. Okay, anything else at the moment? I don't think we really need that much. I think next episode, what we should do is go back over here, loot all of the stuff, because there's so many aisles, the, the shelves that we still have to go loot. We have to loot the back, we have to loot the roof. So we're going to go back to the place. Nice. Yeah, we're going to go back to Tesco. We're going to loot Tesco. And then we have to focus on doing as many high-level quests as possible. If we can get all those awesome loot, we need better guns, better pistols, shotguns, all that stuff. And the only way to do that right now is to do high level uh, quests. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst in Kent City. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server.
If interested, check out the links in the description down below.